Now a bumper bit is a little contraption, a plastic bit that goes between the beaks. It's a bit like fitting a bit on a horse, I suppose, something like that. And it prevents them from closing the beak properly. They can still eat and feed, but it means that they can't actually peck and do any damage or get any grip on the feathers. It also goes around the end of the beak, you'll see when we fit it, so that it stops them, the sharp end of the beak, so this end here, the sharp end, from actually pecking and breaking any flesh and doing any damage. We've got the three different sizes of bits here. The 35mm, these ones for cockerels and larger birds. We're looking at the distance between the nostrils where this end goes and the tip of the beak where that goes. So that's what's known as the length of the face. You've got 30mm here, which fits most hybrids and some slightly bigger birds. And then 25mm here, um, which is for bantams mainly and birds with a very short face or a trimmed beak. And obviously as the shorter you get in the size, the shorter that sort of length of the pivot there is and you have to actually soak them in hot water just to soften up the plastic a bit stop them splitting because the shorter they are when you stretch them on these pliers the more inclined they are to split so you just have to keep them warm you've got this end which comes out beyond the pointed end of the beak protects the end of the beak stops it from jabbing into the other birds this bit here is the bit which goes between the two beaks the upper and lower beak and then you've got these two little prongs here which fit into the nostrils at the top it doesn't hurt it's a little bit they get a bit flustered when you first put it in. It's a bit like having your nose pierced, I suppose. But they soon learn to eat and drink with it. Just make sure that your feeders and your drinkers are a little bit deeper to accommodate the bit. And you expand them just by using the circlet pliers. Now the circlet pliers, as you squeeze them, they open out and it's a bit counterintuitive. You reckon normal pliers, you squeeze them and they close. But these are external circlet pliers with the right angle on the end there. And you open them out fit them into the little nose pieces there you've got little springs there and then just open the bit out so that you can slide it on it's always a little bit easier to have somebody helping you fit a bumper bit you can do it yourself by wrapping the bird in a towel and wedging it between your knees but it is a little bit easier with somebody helping holding the head nice and still so what we're going to do is open her beak up a little bit you're being very well behaved aren't you and slide the bumper bit up between her beaks at an angle of about 45 degrees so that it fits in between and the little prongs sit in her nostrils there. You need to make sure that the prongs sit at the back of the nostril. The front of the nostril, you've got this little skin flap here over the nostril, but at the front here, just inside, you've got a little bit of skin just inside the nostril. And if you fit the bump a bit too far forward, it doesn't bed in properly and you find that they can claw it out and get it out more easily. So open up her beak, put your fingers in the middle just to stop her trying to close it. Go for the back of the nostril there, and then the other side at the back there. And there we go. And what you find, sometimes find when you fitted it is that they clatter their beak against the bit. It feels a bit weird and it's like playing the castanets. They do this sort of clatter, clatter, clatter thing. Um, she's not doing it to oblige. Um, it's looking a bit surprised there. But it's a bit like having a tooth brace fitted. It feels really odd at first. One thing you have to make sure is that you've got deep enough feeders and drinkers that they can accommodate just that little bit of extra length on the beak there so that they've got enough length to um, be able to feed and drink as normal. I find that there'll be a couple of hours of sulking and getting fed up with it and trying to get it out, which they can't, and then they just return to normal and they're fine. They realise they can get on with life, but they, what they can't do, what is so important is that they can't peck and cause any flesh damage. Um, it's when they start pulling feathers, if they start pulling out some of those emerging quills that we saw on the pecked chicken earlier, they've got a strong blood supply on them and they get a taste of blood and then they start pecking at the skin and then it's really only a matter of time before it's bloodshed and some nasty injuries. So it's very important that you deal with it as quickly as you can.